Hello, everyone. I think I'm live. Uh, I am excited to continue into the Payne's Creek killings. I will uh, just give a quick recap, I suppose. I uh, played yesterday. Last we played, we found out a little bit more about um, the <clears throat> townsmen, I could say. Obviously, there's probably like a few hundred people, just considering the <clears throat> size of the town. But there's definitely some key players, so we found out more about the Roberts family, about the staff, and housekeepers, I guess, uh, servants, I guess they got head servants, whatnot, uh, chauffeurs, butlers, gardeners, etc. Uh, we found out more about Scott Brooks, who was the main suspect at the time. I uh, never really figured out what happened to him. I don't suppose he was convicted if this is a cold case, but... Um, unless there's some huge twist, uh, having to do with the fact that, like, maybe why Scott did it, if Scott ends up actually being the one who did it, then, um, uh, we'll see. <laughs> it just seems like that might be a little expected. Um, but I guess that's kind of part of the deal. Uh, what a cat hair on my mic, of course. Anyway, so we'll get right into it. I am excited. I <clears throat> last I saved, we had a few new keys that we obtained from the secret hideout, quote unquote, which is the shed behind the Roberts Manor. And here we are. That's where we uh, found stuff. And so I have a house entrance key, which I'm still yet to figure out what it is, but there's the attic and there is daisies. Daisy. Not Daisy. Trisha. What was I thinking? Diary? What does that say? Drawer. Hmm. Attic and then Trisha drawer. Okay. Well, we opened the back door, so let's just go in here, yeah. I have a map of the F2. The attic is here. Um, was I able to get into Trisha's room? I don't think so. Also, why is my flashlight on? Okay. Okay. No. No. We're not gonna do this. Come here. Every time, the second I start streaming, my it's gonna start going crazy. But okay, I can't open the security room because I don't have the code. She's digging a hole vagina, as we say. Um. This is next to the balcony by this little staircase. So I'm by the security room. I need to go across and over to the balcony. Is it this one? Yeah. Thing is, I don't think this is gonna work. Cause it says drawer. what drawer <laughs> um well i have a key to the attic as well which is 
through the security room. Can it can it be through Dorothy's room too? Are they able to get into Dorothy's room, maybe? This is Oh yeah, this is the attic, I think. It's not necessarily through anything, it's just... I didn't... right here. Attic. Okay, it's open. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pets just drive me crazy the second that I get on stream. Okay. The light works. Well, I don't see anything immediately. I might have to go down the steps there. Oh, what is this? Toolbox? That's what it looks like, but... What's-his-face said that we had extras. Oh, what's this? The Benfields. Secret safe instruction. Insert the clock key, set the time, turn the key. Tea time? Oh. Insert the clock key. Clock key. Three twenty, wasn't it? Turn key. I think three twenty was tea time. Oh, that's what this is? Items needed for the barbecue. Charcoal, grill brush, grill, bu grill fork, lighter fluid, grill brush. Oh, grill brush twice. That's kind of sus. Why'd they write grill brush twice? That's weird. Doesn't look like anything. Doesn't look like nothing. It's weird some of the... the things don't let me... open them. These don't open at all. That seems intentionally misleading. A well-cleaned grill fork.
Where's the grill brush? Oh, hey. Who's this gonna be? I didn't feel well today. This is September 21st, 93. Uh, I had a nightmare last night. Can't remember what it was like, but it was unnerving. I see Scott all the time now since he has started working at the mansion. He's always with Trisha. I used to be the one to hang out with Trisha. Uh, October. Mom says she feels better these days. Oh, so this is going to be Derek. Um, it's as if she forgot she even has cancer. I hope she recovers quickly. Mr. Johnson is a great man to help us out like this. Uh, Trisha talked to me today. She said Scott is busy recently and she feels lonely. I would never make her feel that way. I cannot say it to her, but I will be there whenever she needs me. We talked a lot. I wish every day would be like today. So I think Derek has a thing for Trisha, which is what it seemed like because when Scott started like writing in his diary about it, that Trisha, like he thought that Derek was like her older brother, kind of. Uh, today, Scott came and asked if I know anything about Father Calvin. I only knew him as the previous church pastor before Father Matthew took over. I told Scott to ask Matthew about it. Scott didn't say anything and left. Looks like they aren't getting along too well. Him and his dad or him and... That's gotta be Derek's though. Bottle caps. So do we find it at all weird? Charcoal, grill brush, grill fork, lighter fluid, grill brush. Just feels odd, eh? Particle. Like, what's that? Let me tell you my thought. I thought that maybe this would be a code. I thought that maybe this would be a code. Charcoal, three. Grill brush... Don't know, because I can't find it. Grill fork, two. Lighter fluid, one. Grill brush, don't know. But there's three bags of charcoal. Charcoal. Three. Brush, who knows. Fork, I believe, was two. Lighter fluid. One question mark. Brush again. Because why would they put brush on there twice?
And there's been some five-digit codes around yonder. Did I find anything of value, though, here? I thought I remember. The clock. But I ain't got no clock key, brother. I don't got no clock key. I don't know where it would be even. There's probably, there's gotta be a grandfather clock in here somewhere. Yeah, but. Let me just look at this place. No grandfather clock, are you kidding? That would be a joke. That would be a joke that you would tell me and then I would laugh because it would be funny if there was no grandfather clock in this household. As I search for a grandfather clock grow increasingly anxious that it's in one of the rooms that I've not yet discovered. Brother moment. There's also this. What's the... Six digits? No chance. Here's something that's really cool and fun. I think I'm out of leads. The only thing that I haven't done, because I found out I think in the church, AKA the, uh, the Brooks household, is something that I'm about to show you right now, if I can manage. Yo, is there like a bathroom? Like, do you guys have bathrooms or? You don't have them, or what? Like... Wine cellar. You're just, like, so rich that you guys just don't even need to use the bathroom. Like... No bathroom necessary. What is this garbage? Longest shot that I've ever shot in my life. And I've yucked it from full court before. Can we talk about the bathroom situation? They don't own any. That was going to be my point, dude, is that I... I didn't check the mirrors in the bathrooms. Bleh! I am out of leads. Where are the, uh... So, sheriff's cabinet is still locked. I might be able to go back and find that. The room's cabinets are still locked in the hotel. I'm just going to call it the hotel. I know it's the freaking whatever it's called. The... Okay, I guess I don't know. <laughs> Courtyard Inn and Suites. Hotel. Um... Jam door at Andrew's place. And then the combo locks here. So I don't know, dude. I guess I... Now that I've made some progress, I'll go back to the... I'll go back to the sheriff's office and see... See if I can get that code. 
It's got to be one of the dates. I, that's what I got with... Because that was, like, super useful information that I got out of the date lock from... From, uh... What's it called? Scott's house. I didn't even read that entry, I remember, from last, uh session i didn't read the entry at all we just picked up the toy like wooden plane or whatever and i was like oh let's try this date i guess and then it worked so I keep going down clover lane i need to go to black pine silver lake and what clover what the heck Oh, I need to turn on the clover and then turn on the black pine. Okay. I don't have anything tool-wise. No, 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 no. I just need to see if I can solve this last puzzle in here because it might have some like super useful information inside of it. Watch I solve it and then like nothing good happens. They had one holding cell. See, I knew that these things didn't open. Only some of them do. Okay, so I'm not tripping. I don't have to read, go do everything. But regardless, there is a uh, code here. Four digits. And there's so much around here that there's no way. May 12th or May 14th I could try. Uh, May of 98. No. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. have to be something that was like meaningful to him though right James Howard I already tried I think that guy is the one in 201 that hasn't paid his rent. Steven, my boy. Killing me.
Was it nine seven eight zero or nine eight seven zero? There might be something on the binding. The story of Tanti. The story of Tanti. I thought that was kind of clever. That means anything. The case report. Did I already try eight six ninety five? Two eight two nine, I guess. It's like a more generalized number. Man, I'm just guessing right now. It's terrible. Uh County. July nineteenth. Did I already try like seven nineteen and seven twenty? I 
think I did. Oy vey. This is not trivial. Yeah, that might be this might be a bad one to start with. Story of Tonti 3525. I thought that was clever, but apparently apparently not. Oh, oh, it's just light. It's just weird that I can only pick up this book. The story of Taunty. Three, two, or three, five, two, five. Yeah, they might have me. Huh. Okay. Alright, um, is a rush can work like a way back? I just need this up. One moment. Okay. 
All right. Uh, let's leave. I don't know what to do in here. It's probably something that I find somewhere else. I'm sure yet to. Pay that much. I can just walk out right now. Sell the property. Okay, let me see. All right. Um, not quite sure. I suppose I can just try to... Can't check other people's mail. But... Anyway, pretty much everything is locked. Just feels like I don't have so much of a lead. I don't have the Slim Jim. I ain't got nothing. I did figure that maybe I could revisit uh, old number seven, which I believe is down here, eh? Yeah. Just to see if there's a window or a bathroom thing that I can get into. If there was, that's jammed. See, these don't open. Also, I don't like being in here. It makes me very anxious. Here's the story of Taunty again. Everybody likes this. I've already read this. I wonder if she is coming for us. Three, two, six, three, two. I don't know. There's a lot of numerology stuff in these games usually. Not always, but. It would have to do with Andrew if it had to do with anybody. Well, I... No! Ah, oh, damn it. Just trying to click the yellow thing. Sorry. Um, I don't quite know where to go. Go back to the manor, I guess, but I have like a house thing. <laughs> I know that it's probably Bernard's key, but I don't know where Bernard lives. And I'm not sure if I'll ever figure that one out. Easy. What's around here? Creek. Why is my light still on? Oh, the playground. Wasn't there something about this? Children must be supervised by a responsible adult. Alcohol, drugs, smoking, or weapons. Looks very neat and tidy.
going on back here? To-do list. Get more... Oh, this is the cabin. Get more firewood. Give Trisha my spare cabin key. Fix Mrs. Patterson's sink. Visit Andrew at the hospital. Check hospital for missing tools. That's where that stuff is. Um, wait, Trisha has the spare key. Okay. So this is the cabin for Scott and... Matthew. there <laughs> uh, it's just like a little balcony well i mean i don't know how much of a cabin this is in the sense of a, like a retreat like it's obviously very nice and it's in a nice area but all of Payne's creek is a nice area like this is beautiful sure but like this stream is uh, available outside of some people's houses so visit andrew at the hospital check hospital for missing tools sure so trisha has the missing key uh, the only key that I have, um, I think is the entrance key and then Trisha's drawer. That's going to be Bernard's house. Uh, so where's the hospital then? Have I not been there? Guess I haven't been there. I'm... Like here, so I can go up Pebble Lane to the Postal Service and then take a left. Paint Street River, just across it. Pebble Lane, I think, is here. Which I've not been yet, but I don't think it's anything special. Everybody's. What's sad is that one of these houses is Bernard's, and I could, I could cold canvas, but that would be boring. Postal service should be to my right. Oh, it's to my left. Oh. Well, anyway, I'll go here and then. Can't go in, yeah. <clears throat> Unfortunate. This is Pebble Lane. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's just this. Oh, sure. Okay. This is the hunting area. I cannot slip under. Cannot go around. Sad. Okay. Don't mind me. Just looking for clues. Looking for clues. Looking for stuff. I hate that, let me tell you what I'm afraid of. I hate that right now I have a little false hope because I found the cabin and they're telling me to go to the hospital. And I feel like I'm gonna get to the hospital and it's gonna be locked like everything else here and tell me nothing. What the? Odd. One of y'all houses is Bernard, I know that much. Tell you what. Yeah, hospital is one place I haven't been yet. Hopefully there's a... It's not all locked up. Asylum style. This game is very ghost towny and unsuspecting, so if I get a jump scare, I'm going to be pissed off. It looks like I could enter it. It looks pretty big too, so I'm excited about this. Don't let me down. 
Hi, how's the progress coming along? Lamb, I think you have missed next to nothing in the past 45 minutes that I've been playing. Uh, and I am just embarking on my first, like, real lead. Because I did... I did go to the attic, and I found basically nothing. I found Derek's diary, which didn't tell me much. He has a crush on Trisha, I think. And so he's a little jealous of Scott, because he used to be the one that would talk to Trisha a lot or whatever. So that might play into it. Little Loki starting to get sus of Derek's, kind of. That he might kill uh, Vivian and then pin it on Scott. However, uh, I did find Scott's cabin, Scott and Matthew's cabin, just by going back to the sheriff's outpost to think that I might could solve the code. Tried it for like 10 minutes, couldn't do it. Got frustrated, so I left. And to the right was where um, Andrew's house was. And I was like, okay, well, what happens if I go to the left? And I just went to the left, and it turns out that I found this cabin, and there was a note on it from, oh, I should have taken a picture of it. Anyway, well, I don't know. It, it was just, it was just, a, it's just a, like, to-do list, and it had three things crossed out. It was like, give Trisha my extra cabin key, and the cabin was locked, so we'll have to get it probably from Trisha's room in the drawer, which I do have a key for, but I can't use it until I get into her room. Um, it said, uh, give Trisha my extra key. Um, oh, sh I can't remember the other two things. Um that were crossed off but the next two things was go visit andrew at the hospital and look for the missing tools because andrew lent tools i guess to somebody um so yeah anyway here we are at the hospital and i'm hoping that i can get in i'm really hoping that this proves to be a decent lead and if i find please open oh my gosh okay thank you okay i will admit that i am scared though because it's a hospital in an abandoned town some of the lights are on. So, what's my doubt? I already have one, of course. Visitors. Uh, what is the date? It doesn't say the year. What kind of... I remember the tools bit. Good, good. Uh, Matthew Brooks... Wait, so Matthew came to visit Trisha. Oh, am I going to get addresses here? For important people? Matthew Brooks, 46. We know that. Uh, 46 Silver Lake. Chan, Ruth Peters, Riley, Finkel, uh, whatever, Yolanda Harris, Jake Fry, none of these people look important, quote unquote, Matthew Brooks, yeah, Arnold Madison. So far, none of this stuff has seemed super important. Matthew's come to visit Trisha a few times. He's in here for uh September and then December. Okay. Well, nothing too special. I don't I don't gather. Let's get behind the oh nope. If Father Matthew forgets his key, place it under the flower pot next to the church. <laughs> Didn't well, we've seen we've seen that in the mansion though, so that's not really helpful. All right, yeah, there's two things to read or to go over. We will go over them, but wait, what is that? Ex nihilo nihil fit. 1964. Is that what that means? Is it? Well, I don't know. 
1964 X Nahilo Nahil Fit. I'm probably butchering that, but I'm just reading it like I would if it was in English. Don't think it's English, so. Alright, nothing else important, I don't suppose. Nothing? Okay. Bottom, bottom to the top. Space occupancy. Room number 201, weirdly, is the one that's locked in, in the hotel. Two beds for Wanda? Yeah. Jane, I don't know who that is. Teresa. Trisha. Huh. Trisha's here. More than I thought she would be. Oh, yeah, just keep it open, I guess. So it won't let me read anything. Just random papers. Nothing in there. Okay, well, let's take a listen. Nice. Uh huh. What a banger. There's a phone here. Can I use this phone? Was that a continuation of that or no? Okay. Shoot. Is that the Canadian maple leaf on the badge? Uh. You tell me. Looks like that could be true. I'm not super familiar with it. That sounds like it would be that it would make sense, Lamb, for sure. Anyway, didn't really get much info up here. I might be able to come back to it at some point uh, for numbers or addresses or whatnot. But Oh, wait, 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 wait. The room, the room, the room. Where, uh, where was the... Uh, 203 was the last place that she was, Trisha was. I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know how recent this is. But 203, sure. Nurses station and the emergency center. We go to ED in here. See, I can open these. Now I know to check, right? <laughs> Back here, sure. Still nothing. Okay. Fair enough. If I ever look outside, take a photo. Oh yeah, I could take a photo of the of the maple leaf. That's fine. I did write it down though. Alright. So, nothing in the bathrooms. How about... Uh, I'll stick to the downstairs first. Make it... Uh-huh. Okay. Room 102. Who knows? Diary. For Wanda. Okay. Sure. Uh, November. This is of 95. Derek visits me every day. Sometimes he smuggles the snacks that I like, knowing I would never get them from the nurses. Oftentimes, he brings me flowers. They smell so wonderful. He knows that I love sense and sensibility and reads me... Sense and sensibility. Is that a... Reads me a chapter or two every time he's here. Maybe it's a novel? Uh, if he doesn't have to drive Charles for a few days, he stays past visiting hours and sleeps on the armchair, tending to my needs during the night and gives the nurses a break. He's such a good kid. Sounds that way. December, my hair's falling off more now. I really don't like the chemotherapy sessions. Chemotherapy sessions, uh, they make me throw up afterwards. Every time Derek visits me, it pains me to see him holding back tears. 
I want to comfort him, saying that I'm getting better, but my appearance betrays me. Uh, a week, uh, two weeks later. Sometimes I wonder if my life had any meaning at all. Having mostly worked my whole life for the Roberts family, what will people say at my funeral? Will Derek think of me as a mother who is always there for him? I could have done so much more. If only there was more time. Okay. Definitely heartfelt. But I don't really think it tells us much. Aside from Derek has good character. The list I meant, if you can. Oh, it's a... F oh, God, yeah. Probably that would have been a better idea. Should I go do it real quick? Yeah, I'll just go do it real quick. I don't know if there's any limit to the amount of pictures I can take, so I should be probably using it more. Okay. Mm, actually, it might be worth taking a picture of this, eh? No, 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 stop. Don't. Okay. Pictures. I have a duplicate. Delete. Yes. Okay. It's a famous book, is it? Okay. So I'm just uncultured swine. I get it. Can't open this, can I? No. So this is Wanda's room, which I feel like would be useful if I could find anything. Which I can't! All good. I don't understand why I can't open the bottom one, but whatever. Alright, well, no sense in, uh... Oh, I could have turned on the light. I'm an idiot. Nurse's station. This should be good. Uh, 1F. Mortuary. Okay. Oh, I just... Alright, yeah, it just goes on my map. That's so annoying. I have seen this a few times and not taken a picture, and I'm just now realizing that I can take them when I inspect, so that's pretty sweet. The missing boy. This was in, uh sheriff's office are ghosts real in search for the truth of the dead by Rebecca Bloomfield Bloomfield uh, what happens when a person dies does the soul leave the body uh, and head toward some far off light these are questions that mankind has been asking Excuse me, since the beginning of our existence, and yet there's still no concrete scientific explanation that can prove such things exist. But what if they are real? More importantly, what if that person has unfinished business here on the earthly plane? According to Nathaniel Anderson, spiritualist and writer of Spirits of the Dead, the spirit world is very real, and everyone is destined to go there after leaving the physical body. However, when people die with resentments in their heart... They are unable to pass through the gates toward their designated realm in the spirit world. This is due to things that they were affected by while they were here on Earth. We call these lost souls ghosts. Ghosts are spirit and in, spirits in an unhealthy state. Some of them seek revenge, but almost all of them seek some form of resolution. Depending on the level of hurt they received before passing and their level of maturity while on Earth, the levels of resolution range from lesser indemnity to greater indemnity. Uh, I'll take a picture, but it doesn't really seem super important. I don't know who Rebecca Bloomfeld is, but... It's nice to see all these documents, and I can't interact with most of them, because they probably... Like, it would take a lot of time, and they probably wouldn't do me much good. Aha! Medical record room. I'll sure take that. Thank you much. Oh, they're all codes. Doctor's use only. Oh. 
Hello. Wanda Tyler. 43 Silver Lake Boulevard. That is important. All right. What a find. I don't know what the heck that is, but... Wow, the hospital has been very useful. I can't give me any drugs. Acetaminophen, sure. I'm trying to see what they are, guys. I can't make that one out. Oh well, that's the extent of my... So they're all four digit codes for each each of them. It's fine. Yes, I know they beep, but I may as well try. Eh? So I've already this was uh Wanda Tyler's room. That's locked. I'm assuming that a lot of these are gonna be locked. Office, can't open it. It's actually a key card. Okay. That's the first time I've seen a key card. Stairs, more stairs. Doctor's use only. More acetaminophen. They just got acetaminophen on deck over here. Can't get back there. Okay, fine. Aha! A key card for Henry Johnson, Dr. Johnson. Nice spot, I'd have missed it. Yeah, yeah. I can go back real quick to it because look, this is the end. Dr. Johnson. If I ever run out of battery on this flashlight, which I probably won't, but if I did, there's so many around. I don't think I'd be worried. Bottom to the top, I keep saying that and then I keep not doing it. Yeah, nothing in here, all good. All good. All right, let's go back and use our fancy key card. What was that? Can, can the lights come back up? What just happened? Sounds like someone turned off the power. Yep, that's... That's sure what it sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna walk and... Try to... Well, I have one. Power is off. There is no shot! Right as I found the key card, and then the, somebody turned off the power, and now I... Oh... I didn't think there was supposed to be anyone here with me. Oh, this just got way worse. Okay. Oh, God. Alright, I'm gonna go upstairs. Power's off. It's not gonna work. If I scream, don't yell at me because I understand how scary that is. Okay. Yeah, I definitely have to go turn the power back on outside, but I'm just going to continue looking in here because I've never needed the power before. Room 208. Did I find any room keys? I don't think so. I have the medical record room, but this I had before, this I had before, and then this is Wanda's, like, house key, I think. So all I have the key to is the medical record room.
Okay. So this is locked. Everything's gonna be locked. Room 206. Uh... Harold M. Okay, Harold. The bathroom's locked? Not the first. It's heaven real. Lots of information stored in the medical records. Oh, yeah. Yep. Dear Hannah, I heard from my mom that you are not feeling well and have to be in the hospital from now on. So I wrote this letter to say I'm really sorry for what I said to you last time. I just wanted our time capsule to be perfect. When you get better, you can put anything you want in our time capsule and you can decide where we should bury it. I promise. I really hope you get well soon. I miss you. Please write back to me. P.S. You can pass your letter to my mom. Mom, probably. She works in the hospital as a nurse. Um, okay. Oops, I don't need this. So, Nicole. Who are you? But mom is nurse. Writes to Hannah. Um, I guess I can cap it. That's another note. Dear Nicole, I'm so glad. I was so glad when I got your letter. I am sorry too, and thank you for letting me choose where we bury our time capsule. I have a few ideas in mind, and I want you to pick one for me. Playground, behind hunting cabin, cemetery. What the hell? I don't think she ever sent this. What is this, dude? Playground is here. Cemetery is here. Hunting cabin is actually here. And then four. Bro, what? Alcohol. First aid. I say open? No. Nothing. 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 Milk, weirdly. Okay. What is this? It's like a canister of sorts. Adios. Cheerios. Um, alright. Sure. Sure. And this is locked. Okay, I'm leaving. I came from over there, didn't I? Or, wait, did I come from over here? 
Where am I? I do not remember how I got here, but... This is locked. I think I came from that way. I'm just gonna come this way. 205. Let's make haste with the uh, search, shall we? Let's just see if we can't find anything useful. Maybe there's nothing around here. Power's off. This is the front of the hospital, yeah? Another one of those. Harold S. Mason, isn't that the guy who I thought was in that room instead of instead of Nicole or Hannah? Hannah. These last few months, this is Harold. These last few months gave me time to reflect for quite some time. When one comes to the understanding that my body will soon be no more and I will return to the earth, the question arises of the purpose we fragile beings have in this life. How my soul yearns for those joyful moments with loved ones when I was ignorant of such incomprehensible matters. And now I sit here just waiting for death, knowing that I will never have a second chance. If only I could express what I feel to my wife, kids, people I once called friends, maybe I can feel comfort. My body may be old to travel, but at least I could send something to them. A nurse has helped me prepare a package to send. I'll see to it personally that it gets dropped off once my body feels better. The last effort of a sick old man. Man, that is dark. That is dark. But, sure. Package. I don't know. What it would really entail. Nothing. These aren't going to open. They never do. These do, though. This one's locked for some reason. Really? Or whatever. Two or three, two or four. Bro, seriously, this is like not like I might, yeah, I don't know. Don't look like much so far. Locked again. Nothing of importance. Can't even open those. Can't even open those. Can't open those. Uh, whatever. Is this room just totally useless or what? Wait, no, no, no. I thought that was a letter. Or a note, rather, but it's not. Okay. Well, this room's trash. I absolutely cannot use this because... Power's off. Stairs here. Uh, what is this exam room? I think this was the, yeah. So it's just the other side of the entrance. Just want to be sure that I've done everything. So I did, I went here, I went to the nurse station, I went this way. And then I took the stairs after all of this. So instead of going this way, go here. Nurse's station, lock. There's a back to it. Operating room. Can't get into the MFOR. Nope. This one I have a key to. But I'll go to the cafeteria first, I think. I'm sure that all of this stuff is going to be locked. I just want to be sure. Yeah. 
There's, I'm just being very thorough so I don't have to make any revisits, eh? All right, cafeteria, and then we'll go to the, the med rec room. Kitchen. Just don't even open. What even is this? Or is it like a cola machine, maybe? Orange soda, grape soda, lemon soda. They don't even just have cola, like just regular Coke or something. Diet Cola. <sighs> but no regular. There has to be something in here. Like, no way. That there's not. Knives. There's gonna actually be nothing in here. What a waste of time, brother. All right, well, whatever. All right, so cafeteria is garbage. Ice machine, whatever. All right, let's go to the med rec room. Here we are. Power's off. Oops. No, no, no. We'll go bottom top first, but let's, let's look around before we do any of that. Weird stuff over here. One letter. Can somebody let Catherine know I found her missing pin and I placed it one of the drawers of the lobby? If she's wondering, I found it in the basement storage. She needs to take better care of her things. Pin. Catherine. Pin. Oh, that's Catherine's. Oh, it's the, uh, the Canadian leaf. Because it says drawers of the lobby, and I checked all of those. So, I think that's what that is. Because it looked like a little pin, eh? So, that's Catherine's. Alright. She's one of the nurses, I suppose. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bottom top, bottom top. Sorry. Sorry, B. Um, Tyler Wanda. Wanda. Wanda Tyler. Just whatever. Phone number. Uh... Dr. Johnson. He's got an NPI, eh? Let's take a picture. Raymond Brown, Kyle Thornton, kind of whatever, right? That's it. Okay. Bonnie Ramsey, Andrew Reed. Here we go. Seven black pine. Prazolam. So that's for. This is for anxiety. It's a benzodiazepine, but he should be on anti-psychs. He's got schizophrenia, apparently. Paranoid delusions and hallucinations. But I'm not here to here to have fun, not go to school. So I'm 
notes to physician. This form is not intended. The purpose of this form is to provide the patient with necessary information they need to give their employer to help their employer make decisions about accommodating the patient, proving dis providing disability leave. So Kyle Thornton, I'm seeing a lot of, but I don't remember them being important. Three, three, three. Uh. What does this say? M three 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 four eight eighty six. I'll take pictures. I don't know what that it really entails. Nothing in here. Okay. Raymond Brown. He's on Eloquist. Okay. On to time. I don't really think any of this is important. Didn't I already take a picture of something like this? Kyle Thornton again. Marlon Fox. Rebecca Hunter. James Conley. Bonnie Ramsey. Andrew Reed. Jason Gomez. Eh. I don't really think any of that's important. However, uh, someone said that they found Catherine's pin. Hello again, Miss Roberts. How are you doing? What should we talk about today? <laughs> what? The nurses have notified me that you haven't been eating your meals. Is there something wrong with the food? We know that currently this is a rough time for you. Your father has been asking wants to know if he can talk to you. Um, okay. So Trisha was kind of messed up by something. She got admitted. She wasn't eating her food. Anyway, uh, let's go find the nurse's station. I think is on the floor above, right? I forgot how to get there. Oh yeah, elevator here. Still haven't been to the floor below us, but that's okay. It makes for more. Uh, where's the nurses? This is the rehab room. Uh, room 205. Am I on the top floor? I think. Oops. This hospital is confusing, as most are. Here's the nurse's station. So, Catherine. 1964. Aha! Logbook. This is it. Okay, uh, Norma Jefferson was admitted to PCH. What's that? Paynes Creek Hospital? At 1024 A. Her son found her on the side of the bed and immediately called us. We tried to reach Dr. Johnson, but we were not able to. After the third try, we gave up and called Dr. Schneider, who is not supposed to be on duty. 
It's the third time we failed to reach Dr. Johnson. He's never been unreachable this many times before. Wait. A minute. July 13th of 95, and he could have been there as long as 15 days. So when was this? Oh. That wasn't the same time. Didn't it say 95? Oh. So he's just out balling her. He's doing something. Didn't he drown? Yes, he did drown, Lamb. He did drown. And that's what I was checking. Uh, but this was not the same time. Because it says 93. So... Uh, June 4th, uh, Susan has been sick three days in a row, with Catherine calling in sick. Oh, I thought this was Catherine's diary. Oh, with Catherine calling in sick at the last moment, tonight's staff will be extremely shorthanded. I have agreed to do double shifts this weekend. It's poor nurses. <laughs> uh, it is unfortunate that eight-year-old Timothy Scott drowned. What? Did we know about this? Who's Timothy Scott? Rumor was that he was trying to retrieve his toy and lost his grip. He was alone while everyone else was playing in the playground. His body was found three hours later in the river near the hunting cabin. I don't think we knew about that. I don't even know who that is, but that makes me think that it's Matthew's son. When was uh the kid that went missing? No, that was uh Taylor. Taylor was the last name. Uh okay. Newspapers found bricks. Oh, well I took a picture of it anyway. Joshua Taylor. When was, um, when was Scott adopted? Because this makes me think the kid's last name was Brooks. Nope. Scott Brooks. This is Timothy Scott. So I'm sorry. That is not a connection. My fault. His body was found three hours later in the river. Near the hunting cabin. That's where Matthew and Scott... That's their hunting cabin. A few days later. Um, I was at the end of the hallway when I saw a young lady outside Dr. Johnson's office. It was 11.15 p.m. and the visiting hours were over. I called out to her. She turned to me and promptly walked away. I couldn't be exactly sure, but I thought she looked drenched. I looked out of the window. It wasn't raining. What the hell is going on here, dude? Huh. Uh, Susan called out June 4th of 93. I don't know if that's going to... It's probably not, but... What would that be? 6493 for Susan calling out? Probably not anything at all, but I'm just going to try it. Yeah. Well... Honestly, the reason I tried that is because this diary, as interesting as it is, doesn't really tell us much, does it? I mean, funky stuff, but no leads of any kind. Dr. Johnson was unavailable. She was calling in to do doubles. And then Timothy Scott drowned, and then uh, this weird little young lady outside Dr. Johnson's office. So, I don't know. Not uh, not really any leads, but what else do I have here? So, I have the key card. I have the key to Wanda Tyler's house and her address. 
So I can go there, but I mean, oh, 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 I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am not finished at the hospital. I need to keep looking because there is an elevator over here. Right? And here is a downwards staircase. Aha. And it's locked. Baby, let's go. It's bolted from behind. It's bolted from behind? Oh, there's not... Yeah. Thank you for that. I figured that out. Wasn't there another... Uh, why someone wet when there's no rain and need power? Yes, absolutely. I need the power to use a key card and the elevator. So that's like what I'm going to do. I'm just, you know, trying to make sure that I have everything first before I do that. However, looks like that's my only option now. Why is someone wet when they're not raining, though? Was it from the lake or something? Like, that's just weird, bro. Anyway, um, I don't know how to get to the back because the back is where the power box would be. And I don't, I can't crawl or get, I mean, these chains are on both sides. Um, oh, no, 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 there's a back, there's a back, there's a back. I just didn't explore it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on it still. Good thing I got my caffeine, you know, I'm, I'm, uh. Not a complete Dumbo. We're, we're keeping with our leads. It took me like 30 minutes to get anywhere, but we're sticking with it. All right, so there is a back. Uh, let's explore the back. Oftentimes there's at least one thing outside, especially in an area this big. Hey. Man, visiting the hospital is such a good idea. Get up there. Okay. Just looking around, I know that there's probably the power boxes over left and right. Yada yada. But just giving it a good look here. Okay, more chains. This side has a gate though. So far there's nothing, so I'm hoping that this leads me somewhere. I don't see a power box, but What the heck, my brother? Why would they allow me... to use a gate and come back here if there's absolutely literally no reason to do that? Like, there's just nothing. Bro, what it? Okay, I mean, I don't know why. It just feels like there's so much empty space here. It's like, why would they not have anything at all? all of this open space. Okay. Uh, I... I don't know. I'll tell you that. Well, this whole outside was a huge 
Nice half. I just don't. I don't know where the powder is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even. I can't even see if it's over here, because I can't see from the other side. I'm assuming it probably is. Wondering if the external power switches we saw yesterday are the local power distribution source. Very possible. And I might. I'm gonna go into town anyway because right now, to be honest with you, I've searched what I think is the extent of the hospital for right now. Um, and I have this, which is my biggest lead. And Wanda lives at 43 Silver Lake Boulevard. So let's go take a look because Derek is heavily involved. Or so it seems. Just like in the storyline. So let's uh, make our way downtown. Screw it. Yeah, that's a good idea. If we can get... Uh, uh, the power on in the town for some other people that have it off at this current moment. That might help our case. Hold on, hold on though. Because I want to see... So, I've been here. This helped me tremendously. This helped me tremendously. Is there anywhere else I haven't really been? I have not been inside of Oliver's Photography. I have not been to the farmer's market. That's about it. As far as the, well, okay, like this is locked. The cabin's locked. Postal service is locked. Everything's locked. But I found my way in here. Obviously, I've been to the sheriff's outpost. There is that one record cabinet that requires a four-digit code that I have not, um, I've not yet solved. Anyway, we are going to 43 Silver Lake, which is here. And I'm here, so I need to come down and cut through. So I need to take a left on Town Center and then probably a left on Walnut. Here's gonna, this is going to be Town Center, yeah? Yep. And then a left on Walnut and a right on Silver Lake. And I'm looking for 43 Silver Lake Boulevard. Here's Oliver's photography. Okay, 43. So what's like the first number? 23. And then this is going to be what? Oh, 19? So I got to go this way. Else I go... 25? Yeah, it does go up here. 26. It's not going up quick enough, though. So it's going to be it's gonna be somewhere else. 29. I can't go this far. It'll take me out of the game. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be, like, behind uh, these houses, I think. It expands vertically, but also... Also through the back. So, there's 28. Uh, what is this? Is that... What is this? Well, I don't know what it is, but whatever. Uh, this is 31. It's probably 30 or 29 or something. Not important. I'm looking for 43 anyway. I can open these. There's also an upstairs, which I didn't know. 32. These homes are like, you know, kind of condos that connected a little bit. I like it. I like the vibe here. It's too bad that a bunch of people were dying, getting murdered and stuff. I mean, that's unfortunate, but the... Outside of that, the vibe's good. 39. 34. 36. Okay, here we go. 41. 43. There it is. Uh, it's going to be locked, and then I will unlock it. Here we go. Hopefully some new leads here. I'm excited. Okay. Well, already I'm looking for a light switch. Power's working here. Power's working here. So... What the? There we go. Uh. Hmm. 
nothing in any of them. Wow. Okay, totally useless kitchen then. That's crazy. Can't even examine that one. Why not? Some books up there that I can't reach. Doesn't work. It's weird how even if the power works in some places, the uh, certain switches don't work. But all good. Throw this stuff over. Not really necessary, but kind of natural light in here. Wow, there's next to nothing so far, so I'm extremely disappointed up till this point. Does that say? Old and New London. Volume 4. Okay, I don't know. This is just garbage. Everything in here is just garbage. Well, so far this has been extremely disappointing, so I hope there's something upstairs. And by something, I mean not something scary, ideally. What's this? Oh, there's two. Oh, okay, well, I'll just start in here. Uh. Derek T. Sure. I don't really need a picture of that. I mean, he owns a knife, whatever, right? Nothing inherently sus about that, I don't think. Could end up being, but there's no blood on it or anything. Bro. Thank you, something. <laughs> okay, so Friday, this is 1990. Uh, we went cycling today. Scott said he can ride faster than me. Of course, that isn't true. Um, I think this is Derek's room. Uh, 1990. So, so Derek is five years older than Scott. Uh, Scott said he can ride faster than me. Of course, that isn't true. So we had a competition and Trisha was our referee. We set the goal line to be the fence in front of the river. I was winning until we almost reached the finish line. I braked to prevent myself from crashing into the fence, but Scott didn't break. He pedaled harder as he approached the goal. I yelled at him to stop, but he didn't listen. By the time he crossed the line, it was too late. The brakes did not stop him in time. His bike hit the fence, and he was launched into the air, landing on the rocks by the riverbank. I ran to him. There was blood coming from his head and scratches all over his arms and legs. Trisha came up to him and tended to his wounds. She seemed to be sobbing, even though Scott was the one... Bleeding, I think I'm hurting more than him. Yeah, so he's definitely got some some feelings. Uh, for a deserted town, there's a shitload of good stuff you could steal and sell on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially in that big old manor, yeah. Definitely. Uh, while cleaning the garage, Charles approached and asked if I would like to be his chauffeur. Uh, he said his current driver wants to spend more time with his grandchildren and is planning to retire. I have by the end of the week to decide. It's a good opportunity. I'd get a raise in salary, and I'd get to travel around the country. I think I'll say yes. I would. 
Uh, Trisha came today and suggested we make our very own time capsule before I start my new job. I thought this was a Hannah and Nicole thing, and now who, who all is making time capsules? Everybody's just making time capsules? I thought it was a good idea. We buried the box near a big stone in the cemetery. Before leaving, we made a promise to each other that we will open it up in 10 years. I am noting that in my not solves. Um, two time capsules now. Please tell me I took a picture of that other one. <laughs> I'll go check. Uh, May, I had a chance to walk around New York today. As I went into a bookstore, I remembered how much Trisha loved notebooks. There was one that was really cute. It was a bit expensive, but I think that she will like it. I should surprise her by giving her the notebook on her birthday. Uh, June, I didn't expect to be traveling this much as a driver. On one hand, I miss my mom. On the other hand, I get to stay in nice hotels. I guess it's not a bad deal. Charles treats me very well. He even gives me extra allowances on these trips. Maybe I'll get something nice for mom next time. Uh, Saturday. We went hunting near the river. Uh, is this Charles and Derek? I think they were hunting partners. According to Scott, there's a nest in the drain hole that sometimes has eggs. I told him it might be dangerous, but he assured us that it's fine. So off we went. Sure enough, there were eggs. I didn't know what eggs those were and decided to stay a little farther away. Scott started collecting them when I noticed something moving. Trisha was able to shout out that it was a snake. I stood there frozen, not knowing what to do. Scott turned and saw the snake. He then spread his arms out and slowly walked backwards. Trisha was behind him. He extended his right hand, his right hand with a stick towards the snake and slowly placed the bag of eggs on the floor with his left hand. When he reached me, he grabbed my arm and said, run. We all ran, screaming our lungs out. I think that was the fastest I ran in my life. Wow. Uh, November 5th. I miss the old days when it was Trisha, Scott, and myself hunting in the back of the woods playing by the lake. It's not that I don't appreciate what Charles has given to us, such as the house we live in and our jobs. I just miss the time when we were young and carefree. We could go anywhere and nothing would stop us. I miss Trisha. And then December 23rd. Why doesn't she realize that I like her? He's growing frustrated. What was I? Oh, the time capsule. Tell me I took a picture of that. I'm going to cry. Is it not in my notes? Oh, wait. Hospital map. Hills Creek map. Journals. Bro, I didn't take a picture of it. It's okay. I'll be back at the hospital. I can't believe I didn't take a picture of that. Uh, uh, faint sniff of emotive, but not more than that. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. I've been sussing on Derek, though. I have been sussing on Derek. So, oh. Dear Father, how's everything going? And then it stopped. Okay. Um, well, I think that's the only thing in here. So, out of Derek's room and into, I think, Wanda's room. What? Oh. I'm gonna close this just because I don't like the idea of a door being open behind me. Another one. 1974. So, when he was writing, he was... If, he t if Derek turned four, then when he was writing plus 16, he was 20? Okay. Uh, I wonder how old Trisha is, to be honest. Right, right, right. Uh. Derek turned four today. Vivian organized a small party for him. Uh, I really appreciate what she has done for us. After blowing out the birthday candles, I asked him what he wished for. He said, I wish to see Papa. I did not know what to say to him. I could not tell him that his father left us. Um, the 22nd. Uh, Vivian is being hospitalized for mental instability. Dorothy has... A, oh, was that what it was? I thought it was Trisha. When that tape recorder that said Miss Roberts. Um, Dorothy has asked for me to care for Vivian while she remains at the hospital. I wonder how Vivian must be feeling right now, knowing that she might not be able to conceive anymore. 
Magdalene wants a boy to continue the family line. Not being able to have children anymore will be devastating for Vivian. I pity her. Uh, I just can't stand Sophia. She's not that pretty. Just barely a year working here and the others are already serving her hand and foot. She's just here to take advantage of the Roberts family. I don't trust her. Trust her. I wish she'd just disappear. So, isn't that Andrew's wife? Very interesting. Thank you, Wanda, for your hard work, Vivian. tool to fix this dude well i could have tools if uh i'm gonna put that at unsolved tool to fix wanda drawer just rip it open dude nobody everybody left all this stuff behind like what's the big deal i better find something in here because so far i don't really have any leads Nice. <sighs> Seriously, could not play a game like this. If I did, I would have many spreadsheets open. Oh, I know. I'm. I've got the. Uh, so the camera helps. The journaling and everything helps for sure. But I have my own little notebook here that I'm trying to keep track of everything. This is just stupid, bro. And I could tell that there's something important here. Um... Shoot. I did not get what I was after. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess that's it. Wasn't what I thought it would be. Not that helpful. Found a few more diaries, but, uh, That's about it, eh? There's the time capsule. I don't find anything. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I was thinking. But what I, what I'm thinking though, Lamb, is that I'm gonna get there, and then it's gonna tell me that I need a shovel, because uh, to dig it up. Because the tools that I'm looking for, that were lent by, the Roberts, by Andrew to i think the hospital either that or that or um oliver from oliver's photography both of which i can't find in the hospital and oliver's photography is locked is a wrench which i need to search that vent that's outside of i think silver lake boulevard or black pine road and a shovel so i'm worried that I'm going to get there and it's going to tell me I need a shovel. And then, you know, cause I have potentially two time capsules also. Cause there's also the one that 
What is it? What is this? Oh, I thought that was like a little secret compartment or something. No dice. Um, all right. Wow, that wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, was there anything about, I know, let's see, was it Mary's journal maybe? Where she said we're like Marti or uh, what's his name? Bernard, Dorothy and Bernard. Sig Vivian's past. She asked about my parents. Let's see, Andrew Scott was Andrew's son. Not known that Father Matthew adopted him. Mentioned Derek. Had to interact with Bernard today. Crazy. Help. Dorothy asked me to help clean her house tomorrow. I thought she lived with the Roberts family. So no, that was about Dorothy. It wasn't about Bernard. You can get the shit. Dr. Johnson's dead. Yeah, the broken drawer needs a tool. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, What was it? Andrew? That is... Uh Andrew Reed. Oh, I did take a picture of it. I did. It's right here. So and then yeah. She didn't finish writing. Um Nothing on Bernard. Nothing on Bernard. Um, I'm going to... The one thing that I said that I haven't really done is go to the farmer's market. I don't really think it's going to help me. Unless I find some really weird, obscure clue. But it's like the only open thing open like these the locked 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 like i oh well you know to a certain extents locked done everything i can there postal service is locked it's like it just feels like i maybe can and where am i right now i'm at the or i'm in silver lake boulevard so i pull out and then the farmer's market should be like close by i'll figure out my bearings once i hit the street Locked. So I'm at the crossroads of what? Clover and Silver Lake. So the farmer's market's lit. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I mean, take a look around. Fresh eggs, cheeses, whatnot. Yeah, this looks like a whole lot of nothing. It's gonna be locked. Game is crammed full of nothing, even if it is pretty. Oh, yeah, I mean, they just have these. Like, how am I supposed to know? Yeah. Obviously, I mean, the farmer's market, yes, it would be like out here, right? like I feel like I've been everywhere. Andrew Tools to do list. I'm gonna go back to the to the cabin. Let's see where am I here? I need to take a a left on clover and then just travel down and go to the left. That's fine. Left on Clover from Silver Lake. I'm probably closer this way anyway, but I just kind of have... Uh, I think this is Clover. 
Uh, but I just need to see that note one more time. Oh, this is Walnut. Damn it. Uh, Walnut's fine. I can take Town Center down to Pebble Lane. Okay, I'm about to hit, uh, I'm about to hit Black Pine, so before then is Pebble Lane. This is, that's Black Pine, so that's, this is not Pebble Lane. It's a left, isn't it? Well, I'm here. No, 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 no. I have to turn left and then right, basically. It's right here. It's right here. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm just trying to see all this power that's off and whatnot. Hunting grounds are that way. Here's the playground. I'll take a picture of it this time, but it just said something about the tools, and I need those tools. Check hospital for missing tools. That's all it really said. Firewood. Treasure has the spare cabin key. Fix Mrs. Patterson's sink, which... Mrs. Patterson has the spare key to the freaking... Uh... Try to locate the time capsule of the cemetery. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Um, cemeteries, I think, by the church, isn't it? Am I wrong? I don't remember where the cemetery is. I, I thought that it said on the map, but it oh, it's right there. I'm literally done. So I'm here. Yeah, I'll go all the way over there. It's, that's fine. After I check the cemetery, I'm gonna give my dog her medicine and then come back. So I'll just come this way. I think it's easier this way. I'll just take this all the way back to basically the beginning. Go up and to the right. What do you start out on what? Like the town, the town center is where I turn on, I think, right? I'm not tripping. Uh, well, no, I don't have to go there. Clover and then Silver Lake. I have been to the cemetery. Something worth noting. I have been there. And I didn't find anything. Not anything that I would be able to really... Use. I know that at some point I'll get a Slim Jim and I can open the car doors, etc. They said what? They buried it by a big rock in the cemetery? Big stone? Might be that, I don't know. But I can't get back there. Is there another big stone? That looks like the only- oh well. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, give me, like, uh, just a minute. I'm going to give Breeze your medicine. I will be right back momentarily. Leave you with a pretty sight of the Payne's Creek Cemetery.
Alrighty. Back, let me just... Turn it back on. Okay. Well, now we have the issue of... What the hell do I do? I have a key card that I cannot use because the power is out in the hospital. I have Bernard's, assume, I'm assuming it's Bernard's house key. I do not know where Bernard lives. There is nothing in the hospital about that. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. And then I have a key to a drawer. So Trisha, drawer. Unless, wait, that's not the cabin key, is it? There's no way. There's absolutely no way. It says drawer on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm, gonna, I'm going to go, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go back to the hotel. Because that's the first place that I went. And I don't know if there's anything... That means something to me now. That maybe did not mean something to me earlier. Big books, little. It's gonna be locked. Bruh. Is this just a cute little pathway or is there something over here? Cute little pathway. Also, why? It's like connected to the hotel? What the heck? Okay, I don't know. This is like for tourists or something. I forgot if there was even a key in here. I felt like it was just open. But maybe I'm wrong. I just want to go see. This is the first place I went to besides the sheriff's office. And I went back to the sheriff's office already. So maybe there's something useful in here. Useful information. Lights on. Closed. Fund embezzlement. I forgot about that. Old fashioned way to listen to music, huh? So it is. Apparently. Yeah. I mean, I've already been here. So it's like. I'm not going to spend too much of my time dilly dallying. I've already, I think, looked through everything. Um, what I want to do is hear this again. This is Oliver Gibson. I just wanted to thank you for letting me borrow your toolbox and shovel. Uh, I'm currently out of town for a few days, and I didn't get the chance to return it yet. <clears throat> in the case you need them, it's currently sitting in my photo lab. Uh, ask Mrs. Patterson for my spare key. Mrs. Patterson, who I think that I have not seen at all. Like, I literally have never seen the name Patterson. Uh, that's... Yeah, whatever. Respective slots. <laughs> uh, Timothy, Stephen Moss, Clancy. See, none of this means anything to me. Still. Still. It does not mean anything to me. Locked toolbox. Yeah. Doesn't even let me. There's no way. I mean, it does say drawer on it. That's why I was curious. It's not going to work, but I just have to do it just to prove to my psyche that it's not going to work. Nope, none of it works. None of it works. Blech. Uh, yeah. Da Vinci Wine. None of it. What's it called? Likes it. Um, the family, the Roberts family. 
Go up to the rooms, I guess. Been in here already. Did I? Can you? No, can't open this. It's open already. Uh. Mr. Morris's house. Suppose you can use the torch to smash anything. Uh, I'll try grabbing it. Mrs. Hall's house. What is Bernard's last name? It's not Morris, is it? Where's the journal for the sheriff? Bernard the Butler. Well, there's no Morris here. Uh, okay, I took a picture of it. That's interesting. I didn't have a picture of that before, so... I knew I had seen it, but like I said, this is why I came back, because not a lot meant anything to me during this time. So everything's open except for 201. We know he's not paying rent or whatever. Can't open these. I don't really think that there's anything in any of these at all. And then these I can't search unless I have... Well, that one doesn't look like I can search at all. But... The Holy Bible. Nothing out of the ordinary about it. I will say. Yep, so nothing really going on in here. I didn't recall anything going on in here. The Holy Bible. Why does it let me pick up some books that it doesn't let me, like, keep? I just don't know why it does that. Uh, where am I? I'm here, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not paying his rent. Stephen M. It's from Rosalie P. Whatever. I don't know who you are. Although he did call in. Wait a minute. Well, I'll take a picture of it. I'll take a picture of it. Just because I have a very slight idea that's probably garbage. But it is something. Dude, just let me... Oh my goodness gracious. Glitch. Yeah, I don't recall finding anything in... See, another Bible. Like, why does it do this? There's the hat. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Because... Steven was the one on the answering machine... at the sheriff's office. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know. Um, Wait, where was the torch? That lamb is asking about one of these. Some down here. Oh, can't even find it. Fall Festival. Eh, I don't care. I'll take a picture of this, I guess, just because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's... This place exists. Ask Mrs. Anderson for my spare key. 
And then what did, uh, what's his face say about Miss, or Patterson, not Anderson. Wait, that's what he said, right? Mrs. Patterson for my spare key? Fix Mrs. Patterson's sink. I'm gonna take a picture of this, just in case. Just to have all my documents that I need. Um... I might take a wild guess. And I'm assuming it's going to be wrong already, but there's no point. Because I don't really have a huge lead right now. Mr. Morris's house on 19 Black Pine. Maybe Bernard's last name is Morris. I don't know. But where am I? I'm right here. Black Pine is over here. So if I just kind of go back towards the here and then take a right, this is Black Pine. So he's 19, so I'm actually close already. 18, 19, 28. Twenty-six. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Four. Six. Four again? What? All right, that's weird. Okay, so right now I'm immediately on Black Pine, though. So I'm looking for 19. It's three. What was, um, yeah, it was seven for, for Andrew. Andrew was seven. Five. Andrew's seven. Poor guy's house burned down, basically. Nine. I can't get over there, but it doesn't look like it says 19, so whatever. 23. 16. Some people are some closed door campers. 3. Brother, where is 19? 15. This is still technically Black Pine, so it would be close, eh? One! Oh my goodness gracious. And then now it's Town Center and Clover. Good grief. I'm already supposed to be close. This is 16. 35. What in the name of... All things holy. 30 here. Pebble Lane's over there. 34. It's getting worse. Black Pine's getting up to 36. Now I'm up to 39. I'm up to 40. Which is Dorothy's house, actually. Brr. Where's 19? Not on Pebble Lane, thank you. This is 18, and this is 20, is it not? Oh, it's 16. 16, 18, and this is 20? That's 30. What in the... That's 28, so 18. So this should be like 19, like right here. Ten. Provide me with a break, brother. Uh, 
is there a little courtyard? I sure hope so. For I've already been here, so I don't want to do that loop again. 22. They're all even numbers. 26, 20, 18. Six. Are the even numbers and odd numbers separated, basically? That might make more sense, because this is 28. This is 18. I think this is 16. So then this is probably, what, 14? Next one? Or 12. Yeah, 14. And then here's going to be 10, probably 8 or something. 8, 2. Okay, so then maybe the odd numbers are over here. Because this is 3, 11, 13, okay... 15, okay. 1, okay, so 15, so then this, so 17 is probably over here. How do I get in here? This one is 16, so we're kind of back to... Oh, wait, is this black pine even? Uh, yeah. Technically. Um... This is 9, though, and this is 7, so 19 probably is over here. Damn it. Wow. Is there any way for me to get over there? This is a lot. It's not an openable lock. I don't think any of these are openable locks. There's a way that I can just sort of get in there around. I'm doing some house hunting and not the kind that I'm excited about. Now I'm going to end up at the cemetery. This is whack, bro. I am thoroughly confused. Don't really want to go in the church again, to be honest. I don't know if there's maybe something I didn't take a picture of. Could I ever enter the side? Because there is a little door over there. I don't know if that same key works, though. I'm just going to come back and... It's probably nothing. Wow, there's a Bible in church. Um, this is that door, so no, I can't, I can't use them. I do not know my brother. Yeah. yeah. I've already searched everything in here, I think. Yeah. I just am wondering, just because like that note at the hotel, it's like maybe there's some places that I went and I, oh, this is gonna be locked, isn't it? Oh, exit even? The exit is locked. I don't recall ever being down there. To be honest with you. Um, I already read this. We did that. 
I opened his safe. It's all kind of whatever. Um, I already used that, so no point in... Just baseball. Brother. Oh. Oh, what? I have not feeling it too. Hunting high and low for stuff is annoying as hell. I looks like I finally found something that I haven't looked at yet. Scott Brooks pleads not guilty to killing ex-mayor's wife Vivian Roberts. Main murder suspect denies killing former employer. Scott Brooks, the adopted son of Father Matthew Brooks of Payne's Creek Trinity Church, pled not guilty in court yesterday, according to Scott. I'm sorry, according to Scott, he met with Vivian in the woods that night but went home after their meeting and did not step out of his cabin for days. When he left her, Vivian was still alive. When asked why he met with Vivian, Scott's answer was that they met to discuss about personal matters and it was only between the two of them. Probably about Trisha. Uh, Scott denied further questioning, stating only that he had nothing to do with Vivian's murder, that whoever killed Vivian must have committed the crime after he left. As to why Scott was at his cabin for... For days after Vivian was killed, Scott explained that he did not even know Vivian had been murdered. Staying at the cabin is just something he's always done, and he uh, feels at ease while at home. Um, Scott is currently detained in the county jail. No bail has been set for his release at this point. Okay. And then this one's a four digit code. Of course it is. Picture of Matthew and Scott years ago. Creepy upside down. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness. I returned the tools back to the storage room. I cannot believe I missed this when I first came here. I returned the tools back to the storage room. So some tool. Just something. Please. Storage room key maybe. Right here. And then also I just want to say... final court appearance was October of 1995. Is this by any chance 1012? Okay, is it 10 of 95? Okay, is it 12 of 95? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank I know. I know. I know, right? We finally found something. Alright, so I thought maybe that it would be a date, but uh, no such luck right now. That's okay. That's all right. Um, what else did we find around here? When we first showed up, we found, did we find his diary? Uh, his name is Matthews, Matthew Brooks. No. Don't have anything on Matthew. That's okay. That's all right. Um, let's say um unsolved let's see drawer in matthew's office four digits okay all right storage room please be something that i can use so this is not storage uh the storage was where downstairs right i think i do want to see just did i miss anything else like Oh, oh, this is just the upstairs for- got it, got it, okay, yes, no, just come this way. Uh, I've been in here. Alright, please. Please, 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 please. Please do something for us, because I'm... Hoping- oh, already. 
Looks good. Scott's things. Oh my goodness. What is it? A Slim Jim! Yes! Yes, so we can get in the, the cars. Okay. Anything else in here? So Scott's things is locked. That's fine. Uh, tools, whatever. All right. Okay. Let's go jag some cars. Let's go jag some cars. And hopefully we find something. So not the tool that I was expecting, but pretty much any tool I think we could find a use for. Uh, screwdriver for the drawer in uh, Wanda's room. Wrench for the vent that's outside of the... Uh, I think it's on Black Pine or Silver Lake, I think. A uh, shovel for digging up the time capsules, etc., etc. Axes for, I don't know, certain things, breaking certain, certain stuff. Anyway, okay, there's a car right here, so let's give it a go. Model here. Oops. There we go. We are in. Can you like pop the trunk or what? Doesn't let me open the back doors. Okay, well that was a whole lot of nothing. But there's another car. There's at least one other car. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, wait, did the other one have a glove compartment? Back in the back, yeah, the back doors it doesn't let me open. It doesn't even let me interact with them. I was hoping for the trunk, but it looks like there's the glove compartment in there, which. I didn't check on the other one, but I fear that it might just be locked as well. Was it over here? It was by the cemetery, right? Yeah. Oh, it's locked also. I can't jag these with the Slim Jim? Okay, man, it's closed right now. Just find a lead and then just get it shot down immediately. So I found a car over there. I think there's one near the front. And I'm praying that... Okay, there's one right here, yeah. Please give me something. Oh, there's like folders or whatnot over there. So probably unlocking this side is useless, but I'm just going to do it anyway for completionist mentality. Close. Yeah, there's nothing really to inspect. Okay, there's some stuff over here. Please be something useful. Unlock. 
I was about ready to cry. All right, here we go. Okay, Steve Moss. This is the guy staying in 201. To P.I. Steve Moss, a private invest. Oh! Remember at the beginning they said there was a private investigator hired about this Vivian Roberts matter and then nobody ever really heard about anything after that? So this guy also never checked out of the hotel, got a late due notice, and yeah, so. Okay, so March 13th of 97. I came across your name through a close friend of mine. She highly recommended you, saying you are a person of integrity and very reliable investigator. So I'd like to... I would like for you to investigate the case which happened in 1995 in a town called Paints Creek of the murder of Vivian Roberts. I was there when it happened. Uh, the body had been placed in front of the mansion gates. So gates, yeah, for everyone to see. A few days later, Scott Brooks was apprehended as a suspect. However, there wasn't enough evidence and he was soon released. 18 months later, the police filed Vivian's case as unsolved. I've tried to forget everything, but I just can't. I simply want to know the truth. I have enclosed a copy of the threat letter that Vivian received the day she died. Ooh, I hope it helps. For safety purposes, I would like to remain, remain anonymous at this time. I will give you the first payment in good faith that you will agree to my offer. When the case is solved, I will pass you the rest of the payment. Sincerely anonymous. I know what you did. Meet me by the well at midnight. You know which one. Come alone. Okay. Here's this now. The investigation progress is slow. I've tried to reach people, but many of them have left Payne's Creek, and those who still remain are starting to move out. I found some evidence showing that things aren't what they seem. The media didn't have it right. I need to interview some people who worked at the mansion. I've been too wary and haven't reached out yet. Matthew seems to be Scott's legal parent. Still won't talk to him yet. I'll have to visit St. Patrick's Orphanage tomorrow. It's a day's drive from here. I know Scott found something there. There's something not quite right with all of this. I know Scott found something there. What does that mean? Vivian married Charles in 1971. After the marriage, she became vice president of the Roberts Mining Company. It went into a slump after, after, uh, to the mining incident in 73. But her resilience to not give up led her rebuilding the company from the ground up. She supported local businesses such as the Paines Creek Community Hospital to revitalize the small village. Looks like she was publicly very active. Too active? She was taken to Paines Creek Community Hospital for an emergency operation in 74. Trisha Roberts was born just before that. Uh, Vivian was hospitalized for a few months. She was reliant on Dr. Henry Johnson during that period. I would like to say the threat letter said, I know what you did. Um, and it has been cited by multiple sources, including the private investigator, that she supported the community hospital. And, um, what was I going to say? That she supported the community hospital and that newspaper that we found in the hotel, or the courtyard, or whatever, the inn and suites, I forget, whatever, hotel, said that uh, potential embezzlement was the reason for them closing. So who knows? Aha! Okay. I get to keep this, right? So I don't have to write this down. 025241. Security room. Yep, content recorded. Uh, what is this? Stephen Moss. P.I. Stephen Moss. Um... Wait, hold on. Let me put it down and then pick it back up so that it's straight so I can take a picture of it. Read. The secret lies with her. Is that Vivian? Who the hell is that? Um, by the well at midnight. There's a handprint up on there. Okay, take a photo of, uh, which one? I think I got a photo of everything. Also, the back door is, it doesn't let me interact with the back doors, like, ever. Um, however, I do think that there maybe was another car. I'm probably wrong, but I just want to check to be sure. 
there's, yeah, one at the entrance. Dude, if I can find... If this is the sheriff's car and there's some important date in here and I can find... Use... What? No. I do not want to use the car. I just want to open it. I got all excited for nothing. Bro, and it proceeds to the ending if I do this? Absolutely not. Wait, you know what I haven't tried it? Well, sure. Well, it doesn't matter. I, I have that picture uh, here, 1203, which I don't know if that's the thing to the, sh the sh code for the sheriff's deal and whatnot. But it's probably not. Anyway, I think I've broken into every car, which I think is a good thing. But maybe there's another one. In fact, there might be one outside of the mansion. No, there's not, I don't think. But I'm just checking to be sure. So this is like the one. So I just broke into that one. That was, uh, what's his name? So I'll go this way and try to make my way to the mansion. I have the security code now, and hopefully that's something. So I, I don't see a car down there. Am I going to the mansion or am I going to the hospital? I think I'm going to the hospital. I need to go this way to go to the mansion. Uh, actually, here's the shortcut. So, no car is this way, yeah? I don't think. My new fancy tool. My new fancy Slim Jim. Uh, I broke into that one, I think. Okay, cool. Good, great. All right, let's go to the let's go to the mansion. Uh, the PI was going to go to the orphanage. Did you drive there? I think that that is my car. Yes. So I don't need to. That's why it says use car instead of unlock, open, etc. Like the other ones did because that's my car. I got excited thinking maybe that that was the sheriff's car because it was parked right outside the sheriff's outpost, and that maybe it would have that code that I need to get in there. But I couldn't figure it out, so. I tried, like, every date possible. I even tried this really obscure... He had this book. I don't think you were here yet, Lamb, but... He had a book um, that I could pick up, kind of like I can pick up the Bible and the hotels and the churches and everything. And it was called The Story of Tro like Troint or something like that. And I tried the numerology for the four digits. I tried... Um, uh, 3525, five, and it still didn't work. So that was like very disappointing because I thought maybe. Uh, I am looking for a car. I don't think that there is one, but I just am. I just am trying to see if I can remember if there is or not, but maybe there's not. That's okay. All right. So doesn't look like there's a car. So I'm just going to go here. Uh,. Security room is what I'm looking for, and that is upstairs. I know it. And I really, really do hope that... Um, it leads us somewhere. I think... I think it's over here. I know I have a map, but I'm just going by intuition. Aha! I was right. Okay, let's take a look at our journals. What am I currently looking at? Hiring PI Steven Nass. Oh, no, 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 no. Steven Nass. Moss. Moss. 025241. 025241. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, please be important stuff in here. I am dying to... I'm like one lead at a time. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. Wow, that is huge already. Okay, so much to go off now. So much to go off. Okay, what do we got? Bernard Hopkins! I got his address! This is crazy! What a find! The stupid little Slim Jim. That is insane. I'm taking a picture of this. So now I have his address and I have his house key already because I found it. Hopkins is his last name. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Very cool. Uh, I can't play that, I guess. 
no drawers to search, but already, dude, we've so much that we have found. No power again. Security desk log book. Uh, this is 94, so not the year of. Um, someone ran through the garden last night. A man about 5'5", five five, wearing a hooded sweater, climbing the fence wall into the garden. He proceeded to run into the backyard and jumped over the back wall. Do we know... It's a real gem of a find, I know, right? Do we know how tall any anyone is? Like, I think I just maybe found how tall Bernard is. <laughs> a new stack of VHS tapes has arrived. Please use the new tapes instead of recording over existing ones. Uh, I came across a note by Magdalene Roberts, who I think is Vivian's mom. I'm going to say Magdalene, Magdalene Roberts, or um, Charles's mom, rather, because her last name is Roberts. Charles's mom, question mark? Stuck between one of the old logbooks. It was requesting the search of a missing security tape dated June 25th of 1975. It seems the tape was never found. Uh, we have a new security guard coming in today. His name's Samuel Green. Tom Parker will be his mentor to get him up to speed. Um, Samuel Green. That's a new name. Both of these are new names. New security guard. Guard and Tom Parker. I'm gonna say head security guard for now. Question mark. Seems reasonable. Andrew Reed, uh, I'm sure, came to the mansion around 11 p.m. He was very drunk. Scott was called. He arrived around 11:15 p.m. and brought Andrew home very short drive all of this is <laughs> uh august 12th today marks tom parker's 20th year since he started working at the mansion he'll be retiring from his position next month month and taking care of his ailing wife maybe he's the old chauffeur uh november there's a strange tale going around pangs creek recently stephanie a six-year-old girl got lost during halloween apparently she followed some fireflies in the woods and could not get back home uh, her parents called the sheriff. They conducted a search but could not find her. Two hours later, later, Stephanie got home safe and sound. When asked how she found her way back, Stephanie said a young lady found her crying and brought her back. She didn't know uh, the lady's name but remembered her being pretty and having long black hair. She was wearing a black dress similar to what the mansion's maids wear at work. The strange thing is when I asked around, all the maids said that they were working that evening. Was that the picture of... The woman in, uh, what's his face, his car. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know. So, a lot of weird stuff here i don't know who's no or who's uh who's right writing that but what is doesn't say their description but five five wearing a hoodie who knows who knows okay cool wow so so much to go off of and i uh, oh computer got unplugged because of my dog it almost died all right, so a lot, a lot, a lot to go through. One of the keys. That's Bernard's key, and we have his address now. Uh, PR major, let's see. Does it say which one? Uh, well, I messed it up. Well, let's go back and look. It was uh, T room, Trisha room, and nanny room. So, I guess I'll go to the tea room first. Because it's up here, literally, like, right next to where I am right now. Tea room. Unlock. 
Empty room. Empty room. Ha 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 ha. Hello? Open, open, open. Come on. Nelson and Brown investigation. Let's see. Re investigation on Paints Creek Community Hospital donation funds. Dear Mrs. Vivian Roberts, our latest investigation shows that Dr. Henry Johnson. It's. Dr. Johnson? has been embezzling funds from the Roberts Relief Foundation. He's sending a portioned amount to an offshore private account under the name Jefferson Investments LLC. My pen just went flying. Every fifth of the month, the exact amount of 9,990 is being transferred, supposedly for the payment of medical supplies and equipment. However, neither the equipment nor the medical supplies could be accounted for. This has been going on for the past 16 months. 16 months as of now, the total amount embezzled near is $160,000. Dr. Johnson. Did Vivian kill Dr. Johnson because of the embezzlement or something? That would be crazy. Then someone finds out. Oh boy. A bunch of hate mail. How does it feel to ruin the lives of many? Something costed me my job, you heartless witch. You don't deserve to live. All right, well, that's probably, probably not necessary to say, but maybe, who knows. Key with an exquisite design. Clock key, question mark? Vivian Roberts diary, here we go. Uh, 1972, quite a while back. Uh, Charles is running for election. I talked to Wilson and Edwards, and they both agreed to support us. I don't think they are doing this to solely gain business benefits. Rather, they believe in Charles. Their support will help boost morale for our party. Uh, a little later, it's our anniversary today. Charles invited me to my favorite restaurant. It was a complete surprise, and I was so happy. I thought he might have forgotten. After dinner, we spent the rest of the evening walking along the beach. We talked as if we were teenagers in love. I could not remember the last time I felt this carefree. Uh, a little later again, August. Magdalene is coming. What should I do? She's always asking me when we'll be having kids. I don't think I'm ready yet. Not when I'm still recovering from the miscarriage. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's got to be your mother-in-law. Uh, Edwards called today and tried to push me in, in favor of a business agreement that we discussed months ago. I rejected his request since it will breach the trust agreement between our companies. I didn't expect him to threaten me by backing out from supporting Charles. If that'll happen, so be it. I would rather lose his support than to make deals with people with no integrity. Very interesting, indeed. Very interesting, indeed. Uh, here's a clock. I'm going to put this exquisite looking key inside of it, and it does not work. with villas and mansions. Uh, what did I write? I wrote... Place the key, go to 320, which is tea time. So, none of these are gonna work, are they? Here's the only other one. Well, I guess this, uh, this is gonna be Bernard's house, but I'll try it anyway. Yep. That's fine. But now I found the clock, eh? Cool. Good. So, good. One fork. I did not expect for it to let me open that, to be honest with you. Usually those do not allow me to do that. Okay. Uh, so I have the key to Trisha's room, and I have the key to the nanny's room. Uh, they're both up here. Here's the two room. I'll go to the maid room. Maid room, nanny room, same thing, yeah. Uh, it's over here... No. Tea room. Security. And so it's across the bar. Here and to the right. Yep. Wait, what? Servant's room key in time, so I left it in the kitchen drawer. Is this the... Wait, what? 
Oh, so this is a bathroom? Wait, I've already been in there. What does it mean, nanny's room, then? Maiden nanny? I don't know the difference, dude. I'm so dumb. I don't know. I'm not, like, like I said, I'm not rich and bougie enough to know these things. I say rich enough. I'm not rich at all, but, you know. Still grateful. I just don't know the difference between a nanny and a maid, I guess. Uh, is this her room? I think so. Because that's the balcony, yeah. Okay, so this is a... Uh, this is Trisha's room, which I'm excited about because I have a drawer key for her as well. And it works. Okay, Trisha's room. Access granted. Trisha requested that all her books be brought to her room in the hospital. Whack. My diary... And there's a key underneath it, I think. Wait, read it, yep. 1988. Uh, Scott's a strange kid. Very quiet. I don't think it's right for the other boys to bully him and call him names. I wonder why Scott's parents didn't want him. Uh, I don't like after-school programs, especially ballet. It's difficult and boring, and I hate proper etiquette. What's wrong with being myself? I don't need to be like mom. Well, later. Haven't seen dad for a while. Wonder when he'll be back. Every time I enter the study room, I can smell his tobacco smell. It's the perfect reminder when he's gone for so long. I miss dad. Mom's always working. She's so busy with other people that she has no time for me. Sometimes I wonder if mom loves me. Maybe I should call Dorothy mother instead. Study room code. Oh my goodness. We are finding a bunch of weirdly placed stuff. <laughs> Looks like a cabin key. I will take that. Is this what I think it is? Nope. I don't know what this is, but... It is something that exists. Can't open these, I guess. Uh... Nothing doing, brother. All the boxes are always conveniently stacked against the... It's going to be that. Yep. It's going to be that. What in the... Must have belonged to Scott. I'm going to see the bottom. No. Okay. Store it. I don't know what it would be used for. Please hold on to this. Someday I will tell you everything. Another diary? Dude, this is like the third one, I think. Mom is so judgmental. She doesn't want me to be near Scott, saying that I should find someone who is of the same class as me. What does that even mean? Who determines what class Scott is in? Did Mom talk to Father Matthew? Is that why Father Matthew also forbade us from seeing each other? Don't they know we're in love? Father Matthew got mad. Uh, last night, Scott and Father Matthew had a big fight. Um, Father Matthew told him to stop seeing me again. Wait, this is after? Yeah. Uh, I asked Scott why, but he didn't know the reason. I feel so miserable. Much later, uh, Scott asked if I had a younger brother named Vincent. I didn't. He told me that it was probably just a rumor, but wanted to be sure about it. Who'd spread such a rumor about my family? Vincent Roberts? Question mark? Vincent... Roberts? Question mark. Uh, okay. At dinner, I asked mom if I ever had a younger brother named Vincent. Uh, she stared at me and said no. Oh, probably the miscarriage. She then asked where I got the name from. When I said from Scott, she told me dinner's over. I argued with her. She yelled and sent me to my room. Later, I heard her arguing with dad. Uh, ooh. Um, a few weeks later. How could mom fire Scott? That's so unreasonable. There's no reason at all for firing him. And why can't I see Scott anymore? I love Scott. Dad loves him too. Only mom hates him and I don't even know why. Uh, I find it really strange. I knew that today was Scott's day off, so I tried to surprise him at the cabin. However, I could not find him. I searched everywhere, inside and outside of the cabin. He was nowhere to be found. Just as I was about to leave, he suddenly appeared as if he'd been here the whole time. 
This had happened several times now. I'm wondering if there's a hidden room in the cabin that I just don't know about. Uh -huh. Well, I now have the cabin key. I have some... Uh, yeah. Some emblem. Uh, a weird looking key. That was not the clock key. Oh, it's not... Wait, it's not this, is it? No. Good. Okay. This is the nanny's room. It says... R, R, wait. R, C, anybody with that? A, R, maybe? Andrew Reed? I've already been to his house. Something Roberts? I don't know. I also have this uh, study room code. So I have a lot of stuff. Um, I guess I'll go downstairs because there's a map of the second floor. But there's no nanny room. I've been in here already. Wait, it's not the guest room, is it? I don't think I've been in the guest room. Um, I'll try the guest room before I leave. Not leave. Let me go downstairs. Uh, just try that on everything now, I guess, right? I know that there's a downstairs the exercise room. Which I don't understand why this wouldn't have... Wow. I don't understand why this wouldn't have, uh, like, doors on it or whatever. I just hear somebody exercising. It just feels weird. Uh, here's this... Hey. Is this a study, though? I don't think so. Because what did she say the study room code was? Journal. Uh, Trisha, I have three now. I think that... 44871. No, see, that doesn't even fit. I don't even know what that is. So Everyone's got secrets, though, as it turns out. So I don't know what this is. I'm gonna try this on it. It worked. What is this? It worked. Okay, this was the exquisite key that I found. What the? Oh, there's just lines right there for some reason. Um. I'm checking. Just checking, man. Just checking. Oh. Stuff. What is that? I don't know what that is, but... Diary of Vivian Roberts, again. Uh, there's a lot. Okay. So, 1994. Andrew came and told me he didn't need an assistant. He said Scott is too inexperienced and is a burden to him. That doesn't end up being true. What he hasn't realized is that the garden has not been maintained well over the past few months, that his drunk behavior is irritating, and that Scott is actually doing more work than he is. Scott is a fast learner. He should be up to speed in no time. Charles was the one who insisted on hiring him anyways. Uh, Charles likes the boy. They've been hunting together quite a number of times, and Charles always seems happy with his company. I just don't understand his love for hunting. He sometimes spends more time in his hunting cabin than he does at home. Uh... I, so the next day, I was shocked to learn that Scott has been asking around about Sophia. How did he know about Sophia? Who could have told him? It must be Andrew, that drunk. I told him Sophia is gone. Those hallucinations of his is getting worse. He needs to see Henry and get more pills. I'll need to have Bernard keep an eye on Scott from now on, and I'll try to see who he talks to, who he asks. Um, I called Oliver and asked if he could be the main photographer for the Easter fundraising event. When he asked what the funds will be used for, I told him it'll be used to raise awareness of Payne's Creek to promote our town's tourism. After listening, he agreed to help. Um, when asked how much he would charge, he simply said it would be free. I was surprised. I appreciate his contribution for this town. 
Uh, that's the fall festival, I think, that we saw in the hotel. The deal with Howard Medical came through just as I anticipated. Instead of being happy, I feel empty. Am I getting numb from work, or is that I don't care anymore? Or is it that I don't care anymore? Our dinner tonight was quiet. Charles didn't need much. He asked me about my day, but I didn't want to talk about it. As a matter of fact, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him much these days. Trisha was silent as well. She's distancing herself from me. I can feel it. She used to confide in me about everything. Now we hardly talk. Is stopping her from seeing Scott wrong? Uh, a little later. I don't want Trisha to be near Scott anymore. Of all the men in this world, why would Trisha pick him? This is unacceptable. Definitely. That's the, gonna be the clock key. That's what it looks like anyway. Oh, I should turn on my light. I would have missed something like that most likely if I wasn't looking directly at it. Uh, uh no chance the key to 201? What? Wow, okay. So much is going on. It's locked and it's not able to be unlocked. So that just is what it is. Oh, there's actual stuff to open here. I didn't realize. It's always a gamble to see if you'll find anything. Okay. Well, weird. I don't know. I, there's so much in my inventory now. Um, I want to go back, I feel like, to Trisha's room for the clock key thing, because cause now I have it. <laughs> there's no way that's not what it is. And I'm here already, so it's like I may as well just, like, you know, do everything I can. Uh, Trisha's room... Or wait. Uh, Trisha's room is over here. <laughs> uh, This one, yeah? Yep. Alright, place item, clock key, and then the time, tea time was 3.20, I don't know why I remember that, but I just do, so this, it's a 3.20, so here's 3... That's 320, yeah? Aha. This is from Dr. Henry Johnson. Dear Vivian, in 1975, I am not writing to you as your doctor, but as a friend. I know you're, you had your suspicions about Charles. Now that his affair is revealed, there is no point beating around the bush. If you want to protect yourself and Trisha, there is only one way. You have to make Sophia and the baby leave Charles? They need to be moved away from Paints Creek. You will, of course, have to compensate for her leaving. What? As for Charles, he will need to know that having his affair publicly known will destroy his political status. People are not so forgiving when the mayor they trust is involved in such a scandal. I figure that Charles will try to add the child into the family registry. I would do the same if I were him. It is a boy after all, and the child will be able to continue the family line. If that should happen, I cannot imagine what will happen to you. Vivian, I have given careful thought to your request, and here is my answer. I have provided a new prescription for your mother-in-law, Magdalene. It is three times the strength of her usual dosage. Detailed instructions will be sent with the medicine. Should you decide to do it, you will need to administer the medicine carefully so no one suspects anything. Call me if you have any questions. Henry Johnson, P.S. Make sure no one else in the mansion ingests any of it what the hell is going on
So, oh my goodness. So Dr. Johnson, it seems like, helped Vivian euthanize her mother-in-law. And then this, I'm not sure I understand. Because it says, I'm not writing, but as I know, he had just suspicions about Charles. Now that his affair is revealed, there's no point beating around the bush. If you want to protect yourself and Trisha, there is only one way. You have to make Sophia and the baby leave Charles. They need to be moved away from Payne's Creek. You will, of course, have to compensate for anything. So, I think Sophia was Andrew's wife. Got a lot darker really fast. Yeah, with this single discovery it did. Agreed. But I'm pretty sure... Oh my goodness. Was... Vincent? Was Vincent the name of the kid? Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. I think that Charles had an affair with Sophia, who is Andrew's wife, I'm guessing, just because of what was in his journal. Sounds like she is forcing Charles's hand. It sounds like. Um, so Charles has an affair with Andrew's wife, Sophia, and accidentally gets her pregnant. She has a baby named Vincent? Maybe Andrew thinks that it's his kid? Or Daniel? Uh, I don't know, because he was writing to Daniel, right? That was like... Well, there was a miscarriage. Maybe the miscarriage was supposed to be Vincent. And then the kid's name was Daniel. Gosh, I don't know. don't know. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, okay. I am going, I think I'm going to sign off after, not now, after I finish up in the mansion and there's one more thing to find and it's the nanny's room. And so it's got to be downstairs, one of the locked rooms downstairs. If there is one, anyway. There's no lock on it? Okay, well, I guess it's not that. This is a code lock, not a key lock. Oh, damn it. It's the study. It's the study. Um, 44871. Yep. Wonder if Scott and Trisha are brother and sister? Oh my god, that would be insane. I don't know if that's... That's going to be what actually comes out of that, but wow. Um, okay. Just, what is this? Looks like a secret button or something. Because remember, do not forget, there was a secret button in that painting, on that one painting. That revealed the, like, safe or whatever. Do not forget that. Place item. Medical health encyclopedia. Well, where is it? Uh, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. I'm just going around the desk because the desk is the obvious like main point, just to see first. Uh, yep. Uh, Trisha said that she could always smell this in here. 
He's kind of lighter. Haynes Creek Community Hospital, Vivian Roberts Medical Report. Dear Charles Roberts, Vivian's situation... Wait, this is when? 1974, so... Around when they got married or so. Vivian's situation is currently stabilizing. She has accepted the fact that she cannot conceive anymore. However, she needs time to fully recover, and a six-month rehabilitation is necessary. Your presence at the hospital has been noted to upset her. This only helps prolong her recovery. I am suggesting that you try and refrain from visiting your wife until she is in a better state to receive you. Your mother's desire for a boy to be an heir to your family has caused tremendous strain on her. Please consider addressing this issue with your mother. Uh, Paines Creek Community Hospital regards a patient recovery as the highest priority. Our staff will do their very best to help Vivian. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause you. I think that Charles got so mad when he found out that she couldn't conceive that he had an affair and intentionally impregnated Sophia because he wanted a boy. So that was recorded, so no need to take a picture. Calculator, nothing super good for me. Uh, it's a four digit code. We'll see if I can find him. Aha, found that, so we'll see. There's going to be a secret room or something. Uh, what about... Nothing on here, yeah. Okay. Right. There's something written on the back. Four right, six left, three right. Four right, six left, four right, or three right, four right, six left, three right. It said four right, six left. Nothing happened. Four right, six left, three right. So is it from from this book from 10 4 right 2 3 4 6 left 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 I notice maybe just those and not the ones in between Oh wait yeah Wait, four right. Four right, six left. But it just seems like there's so much to... Four right, six left, three right.
Four right. What if it's like six left? And then three right. Like I just pull one, two, three. Does that work? Bruh. What was the starting volume's number? Ten. Ten. I did one, two, three, four, five, seven, and then this one. These would be the only ones that would be. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Four right, six left, three right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but four right and six left are both five. Isn't it? Wait, pick up. Four right, six left, three right. Four right, six left, three right. What is it? It's like four right, six left, three right. I don't think that works either. Matter that one, two, three, four. I think I've done this already. One, four, five, six. One, two, three. Think of a safe dial. Four. All right, one, two, three, four. Six left, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Dang it, I thought that might work. Four right. Why doesn't that work? It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And then yeah, but it just it just makes me pick it up. It's weird. Um, one, two, three, four, right. Four right, six left. One, two, three, four, five, six left. And then three right. There it is. Finally. Good grief. Okay. It's probably harder. Easier than I made it seem. Magdalene Roberts, yep. Mother of Charles dies at 68. Hospital reports a heart attack as main cause of death. Magdalene Roberts passed away last night at the age of 68. She was visiting her son, Charles Roberts, in Paints Creek when her heart failed. Uh, Dorothy Patterson, a maid working at the mansion, knocked on Magdalene's door at 7 a.m. Since there was no answer, um, she assumed Magdalene was still sleeping. It was only two hours later when Magdalene still did not respond to the knocking. She realized something was wrong. She called Bernard Hopkins. The ma mansion butler who came and opened the room to find Magdalene lying on the bed. She wasn't breathing. He immediately called 911. Dr. Johnson, the family doctor, 
and head of Payne's Creek Community Hospital arrived at the mansion around 9.30 a.m. and pronounced Magdalene Roberts dead. According to Dr. Johnson, Magdalene Roberts probably had a heart attack sometime in the middle of the night. More accurate diagnoses are yet to be determined, but Magdalene's death was most probably the result of high blood pressure and old age. So Dr. Johnson is covering for, for it as well. Uh, okay, more diaries. Here we go. Charles Roberts. Vivian hasn't spoken much since she was discharged from the hospital. Dr. Johnson said she's fully healed, but it'll take time for her to adjust back to her old rhythm. I feel our relationship is deteriorating as deteriorating or has suffered permanently in some way. Uh, a little later, I love Trisha, and I know Vivian does too. I can only hope that my mother's passion for a grandson will not affect Vivian's love for Trisha. I hope that she does not hold any resentment towards mother. Well, a little late for that. Probably another one for Charles, yeah. Uh, our baby daughter is born today. We've named her Trisha. Vivian had to go through a cesarean section. I'm just glad that both mother and child are safe, and I thank God for that. I feel so happy to have a baby in the family. There's no words to express the joy I'm feeling inside. At the same time, I'm worried of what mother might say once she knows that the baby is a girl. A little later, Vivian is being hospitalized for the second time in a year. The first time was for the C-section, this time for mental instability. Dr. Johnson told me not to visit her, the letter, yeah, until she's stabilized and ready to receive me. What can I do? Mom wants a boy, but it's not safe for Vivian to be pregnant anymore. Sometimes I feel lost, not knowing what to do. Mostly, I just feel lonely. I never thought this would happen. Whenever Sophia is babysitting Trisha, she would listen to everything I have to say. I could express myself cord uh, candidly. Never once did she question the decisions I made. It made me feel like she understands me. I found comfort in her, but, uh, both spiritually and physically. I just never thought I would have a relationship with her. What should I do now? A uh, little later, I have a name for our child. He will be called, yep, Vincent Roberts. I will add him to my will. Sophia seems to be hiding as well as she can from Vivian. Even I have not seen her in these last two days. I wonder where she could be. Wow. That's Sophia. It's not Vivian. The secret lies with her. Wow. Dear Charles, uh, I received a letter from Dorothy yesterday. She told me everything. What have you done, my son? Does Vivian know? Have you even considered the consequences of your actions? And what of this Sophia? What will you do with her? You made a mistake and you'll need to take responsibility for what you have done. Do you understand? You cannot take her as your wife. You already have one. This scandal cannot be publicly known. It will destroy your political career. However, the child is important. He is your flesh and blood and might be the only might be the son you need to uh, properly continue the family. I am now preparing to visit you. Do not say anything to Vivian yet. I will take care of it when I arrive. Love, Mom. Mm -hmm. uh, probably nothing special in here. We've already gotten everything special enough. All right. Well, this has turned very dark very quick. Um, supposed to be a four-digit code. Where was that letter from? When, rather? August 16th. Eh. I don't know if... 8-27. June 16th. None of these dates are very important. Sophia was probably the one that guided Stephanie home, by the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to add it to the unsolved drawer in... What's his name? The guy. Charles's office. Four-digit code. Okay. Um, there's one last place I need to visit, isn't there? The nanny's room. Still am yet to find it. I have searched far and wide as far as I'm concerned. 
This is the only one I can really find, but there's no unlock opportunity. Doesn't show where I can use a key. Doesn't even let me do it. So, I mean, that's that. I don't know, is there another door to it maybe? Or... Tripping, I guess. Could be outside. No opportunity to unlock that one. It's kind of weird because it's like so close to this over here. Stairs. Been in here already. There's no extra doors. But I have the map. Tea room. Oh, Dorothy? Dorothy's like head maid or whatever, maybe? I'm in the exercise room. This is Dorothy's room, right? Exercise. Er. Oh, it's a it's a bathroom. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna be this either. That's Bernard's house. We already know that. Okay, I don't know. I mean, where? Okay, Dorothy's room is like close to the bar. What is this? The guest room. Did I already try this? Doesn't work. Whatever, I don't care. Bar. It's a tea room. This is Dorothy's room, I think. There we go. So Nanny's room, meaning Dorothy's room. Uh, Holy Bible again. Well, let me pick it up this time. Not much in here so far. Dear Charles, this is after Vivian's dead. I've worked here for more than 20 years, and I'm so glad I was able to spend time here with everyone. I greatly appreciate the opportunities you gave me and the time I spent with Trisha. Trisha was everything to me, and she loved me. She smiled whenever I called her. I wish I could have given her more. Despite what has happened here in Payne's Creek, there are moments of pure joy that we've all shared together. I will hold on to these memories. I'm sorry that I'm leaving and won't be able to serve you anymore. Thank you for everything. Please take care of yourself. So she resigns soon after the, the murder. I don't blame her. I would be uncomfortable. Diary of Dorothy. I can't believe that Andrew tried to kill himself again. Wow. Uh, thank God for Scott. That is a extreme development. I cannot imagine what would have happened if Scott weren't, wasn't there to save him. Andrew was never like this when Laura and, and Daniel were here. Even as his wife, I doubt Laura has any idea why Andrew turned out this way. Wait, so Sophia's... No, that's wrong. Laura. This is a new development. Laura. So, Laura Reed. Andrew's wife. Okay, this is the new name. Who's Laura at? Yeah, I guess we're just finding out. It's his wife, I guess. I doubt Laura has any idea why Andrew turned out this way. I can't blame her for leaving him and taking their son, Daniel. I wonder if they've contacted each other since then. God, I... Andrew's just... Mentally, he's been dealt a tough hand. I visited Andrew at the hospital today. He seemed different. He looked calm, as if he'd somehow managed to find peace within himself. The attending nurse said Scott has been here almost every day, taking care of him and being with him. Andrew has been talking a lot with Scott. Andrew told me he's ready to see Laura and Daniel again. I'm glad to hear that. I should call Laura and tell her the good news. I don't think she's going to like it. Scott came to fix my leaking sink today. Dorothy's last name is going to be Patterson. I bet you anything. Um, he did a wonderful job. I offered him tea. We're, oh, we're about to find the key. 
or the toolbox or something. Uh, I offered him tea and we talked quite a bit, mostly about Charles and Vivian. I showed him my old photo at him. To my surprise, Scott became very quiet. He asked me if I could, if he could borrow one of the photographs. I don't see why not. He thanked me and left in a hurry. Oh, I should call Laura and tell her about Andrew's situation. What photograph, I wonder. Uh, it's ironic that Andrew... Oh, we're coming up on the... On the, uh... The murder. It's ironic that Andrew died shortly after being saved. Wow. I met Laura and Daniel at Andrew's funeral today. Daniel reminded me of Andrew. I can't believe he's already 15 years old. Last I saw him, he was only 7. Laura said... So, by the way, before I continue, Sophia is just random at this point. Because I thought that she was Andrew's wife. But she's not, clearly. So, I don't know what Andrew's connection to Sophia is. Because he was like crazy or something and was kept seeing her and saying that he needed more pills because he kept seeing her i don't know um last i saw him he was only seven uh laura said andrew had been sending them money these last few years she had been considering to return to page creek so they could be together again if only i had called laura before the fire accident i feel so sorry for them i almost don't feel like it was an accident but we'll see Uh, Dorothy and Trisha. Okay. Don't really see. This was the. Oh yeah, her resignation. She. Uh, is that it? Another diary. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Let's just read it. There's a newly hired maid. Here we go. Uh, named Sophia. I think Matthew recommended her, saying that she's his cousin. What the heck? Sophia's Matthew's cousin. Matthew's cousin. Um, new maid. As of 1972. She's very pretty and has very good manners. She's a quick learner too and does whatever she's told to. She's very eager, asking a lot on what she should do, how she should act when Charles and Vivian are present, and how to be perfect at her job. I like her already. March 10th, next year. The guys delivering food to the mansion were gawking at Sophia as if they've never seen a pretty girl before. I had to ask Sophia to go back in the house, otherwise someone might have funny ideas. Her uniform needs a little more cover. Uh, Matthew sometimes comes over and checks to see if Sophia is doing okay. I tell him he's worrying too much that Sophia is loved by all. Matthew seems pleased every time I say this. If I didn't know better, I'd think that Matthew liked her. Okay, Matthew's cousin, question mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> later. Uh, it rained heavily today. Sophia and I were having our tea break when she asked me... What does it feel to be loved? I said, well, it's like the feeling you get when you are when you are with your parents. She was quiet for a moment and then replied, it's hard for me to imagine because I don't have parents. Whoa. I didn't know what to say after that. To say to her at that time, but after the break was over, I decided to make effort to care for her more. So she's an orphan as well, I guess, huh? We are learning a lot. Bathroom. Can't open that. We'll check, uh, these. Absolutely nothing. Okay, well, whatever. Did I, what is this? Oh, it's the picture, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Well, let me make my way down. This is going to go into the attic, supposedly. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and walk back to the front. In closing, just to be sure that there's absolutely no car. <clears throat> and I don't think there is. 
shed's still open. Have I been in this room? Yeah, this is the study. Secret room and all. That was a fun puzzle. The combination. The last couple of hours have been fruitful. Yes. I am uh, going to do a quick recap before I sign out. So here we are. We're going to be leaving the mansion when I come back. I just want to say that there should be no shortage of leads anytime soon if there is at all like the next time that i stream because look at how much i have so we have three potential places to go and each place i'm assuming will just build uh, more up but first off i have the key to 201 which is where the private investigator um mason what was his name uh, what was his name? Stephen Moss. Uh, I was mixing Moss, Mason. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, so uh, I think we're going to go in there and find him dead. I don't know if he'll, his body will be in there. Uh, most likely not because there's like no bodies or whatever, but that would be pretty crazy. We're going to find something. Um, he's not going to be there. And if we don't find him, then we're going to find proof of his death i think uh in addition we have this which i don't think is much um it's just like an artifact kind of um we have the cabin key so we also have the key to the cabin i have searched every car but these two are the big ones along with this which i'm almost positive is bernard's house key and now we have bernard's address so all of this combined to say i also still have the key card which i do think that I will be able to use uh, at some point. I just need to turn the power. Yep, we still need power. That's what I mean is uh, we just turn the power back on. So I think that we'll get to that eventually. Uh, it's sort of weird how, I mean, I think it's probably planned that, you know, the power goes out or like you at least hear a noise like right after you find the key card because then you can't use it. Um, if we can turn the power back on, then I think that we might be able to use phones because there are phones not just the fax machines but actual phones in the hospital but they have like a busy signal so i'm thinking that that might be something there's a lot of phone numbers for people like the guests at the hotel <sighs> um here's a little sneak peek at what my notes are looking like there's this one and then i just had like a few things on the next page but i have all the characters down uh sophia's just um a little random but sort of weird i mean everybody everybody like has a crush on her i guess um including her maybe cousin matthew uh makes me feel like he's not her cousin kind of weird but um we know who else had a crush on her and that was charles because they had a kid and uh his name is vincent so Got a lot of that done. Uh, there are a lot of... The one thing that I am a little worried about is that <clears throat> we'll have to go back and there might be a grind for some of these four-digit code puzzles because um, I figured out one of them last stream and that was the date that was on the bottom of the wooden toy plane for... for... Scott. Uh, his safe. It was a date that I plugged in and actually got it. And I was surprised that I got it because I had been doing that with some of the other four digit codes and haven't been able to get it. So uh, there's one in Charles's office. There's one in Matthew's office. Um, there's one in the sheriff's office. Uh, we still need to find the tools, but I'm pretty sure that Dorothy's last name I'm gonna put here is Patterson. Um, and now that I think about it I was expecting to find the key to Oliver's photography there um, but that seems to be about it Lamb says it's getting very interesting but some loose ends hopefully will start 
coming to an end. So I know that the average playtime for this game is around nine to ten hours if you don't do like a completionist thing where you like you know do every every single possible little thing. And I played for almost four hours today, and I played I think I don't know three yesterday. So probably the next time that I stream will be the end. Um, I don't know when that'll be. I, you know, I've been able to stream this week because of spring break. And then uh, this weekend, my family's coming down for my mom's birthday. And I do have two exams next week, Monday and Wednesday. So it might be, um, might be a Friday thing. So it might be a week from now, but, uh, maybe it'll be sooner. I'm hoping that the next time that I do stream, we will come to an end another thing i know about this game is that there are potentially multiple endings depending on how much you finish and like you've seen many times i can just try to walk over to where is it um old creek town or hillsdale or hunting grounds get in the car etc and all of those are like hey do you want the game to be over the game will proceed to its ending and then the ending at that point would probably be like you sell the property and like nothing is solved and like congratulations you've done nothing but i think that there are some multiple endings depending on how much you find maybe at the end not sure but we will find out i have not looked a at a single thing for this game all i know is <laughs> from the store page on steam when i bought it and so all of that to say that i'm you know not going to look anything up because even today with the painful uh lead break where we had basically nothing to go on um we still trudged through and you know we're not gonna look anything up just trying to trying to find some stuff so revisited the church and finding that uh storage key changed changed everything so sometimes one small clue can really make a difference uh lamb hope to catch you when you do stream yes absolutely i appreciate uh the support and i hope that you're you've been enjoying it as well it seems like you have been and uh, it's been been a lot of fun. I'm quite enjoying this. I love games like this. So the Slim Jim broke it open. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The Slim Jim. We got into the into uh, Stephen Moss's car, and then everything changed. So that security room, man. We got the security code, and then there was three keys in there. Oh, that was insane. And then Bernard's address. So that was like four things right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Uh, Lamb, again, thank you so much for your uh, support. I hope you're. Uh, have had a good week and if i really can't stream for a little while then i hope that you have a great uh week until then uh but for anyone who might be watching in the future as well hope you have uh enjoyed it as much as we did have a wonderful rest of your morning afternoon or night whatever applies to you and i hope to see you at the next stream